Championship Week in Las Vegas is going super good. We're having exciting tournaments with so many good players. All through its competition, the MSOP is always all smiles and fun. Salut, ça va? Hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Here it is, the battlefield, where 64 players are going to face off to try to bring home $12,500. On top of the leaderboard, after three rounds of putting, we had some very interesting names. James Saunders, Mathieu Kinnis, Matthew Marquez, and AJ Mack hanging out with his Vegas boys. Taylor Montgomery was setting the pace on the course, but his buddy AJ Mack was responding on every hole. He reached the top of the leaderboard at the very end and was patiently waiting in the clubhouse to see what Marquez was going to do on 18. This one for Matthew Marquez was do or die, birdie equals win. Here it is, we are going into playoff, Matthew Marquez versus AJ Mack. After AJ Mack birdied hole number one of the playoff, Marquez needed to come back strong. He did on the second hole of the playoff. But every time, like he did all around long, AJ Mack was coming back strong. After three holes of playoff, McInerney was at two under and Marquez at one under. To tie AJ Mack at two under, the only thing Marquez needed to do is to birdie a 85 footer. Yeah, not that simple. Came very close, but not enough. So AJ Mack got the W and is going home with $12,500. Well, I had a blast. I mean, this is good practice, trying to putt under pressure and, and you know, uh, I actually missed it first stage of Q school last week because I three putted the last hole and I just remember how nervous I was with that five footer that I ended up missing and I mean you have that putt all day long out here so it's great preparation and great practice and and I'm just happy to kind of harness those nerves and, and turn it into a positive. It was a different format for Turbo Single number two because we resetted the scores for all the players who made the cut after three rounds of putting. Everybody went back to scratch, trying to make it back to the top of the leaderboard to win the big money. Christopher Tulik, Benjamin Geyer, and Matini went off war amongst the players to watch in this final round. Matthew Marquez came back from behind with an awesome second final round. He did an awesome putt on 16 to move him up the top of the leaderboard. On 18, he secured his win with a super nice birdie, but look on the corner left. Christopher Tulik knew this one was slipping away. Matthew Marquez was going back to the clubhouse knowing that he had a pretty good chance. Christopher Tulik finished at 9 under, second. After playing 36 in round number one, the grinder Rainy Statham did an awesome job in round number two, coming back at 8 under to secure the third position. Uh, it feels good, it feels good. The first round, the greens slowed down so much from earlier. I didn't have the speeds right, so I only made a couple putts. I came over here, I had a better feel for the greens on the second round, and just pretty much everything went in.